Ryan here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Genesee County, New York, our Rags to Riches series here. Not exactly sure how many weeks we got into this map here so far, but I think we're doing uh, pretty good here so far. And I don't know about you folks, I'm rather enjoying the, it's a little bit different change of pace here. I went from uh, typically always doing our own farm, you know, we own our own land, our own equipment. Well, we still own our own equipment here, I guess, but uh, doing our own thing in our own land here, right? Uh, versus this one, we have our own equipment. At least we got some of it here at this point. It'd probably be nice uh, down the road here to get some more yet. Uh, but we got some of our own equipment, and we're just pretty much working land wherever on the map we kind of want to work on land. And uh, kind of can do what we want. Like, if I don't want to feel like harvesting uh, potatoes, which, well, mind you, I guess I wouldn't, uh, if I own my own land, I probably wouldn't be planting potatoes. So that kind of takes care of that. But, uh, you know, if we don't feel like harvesting potatoes, we don't have to. We just uh, skip over that uh, contract conveniently. Or like the, I think there's still a sugar beet one on the list here. If I go check this here. Uh, ooh, there's a plowing one. Yes, please. We'll take that. And there's also cultivating. Eh, 8,000 now pass. Yeah, the, the sugar beet one is still on there. Yeah, the one. No, no. Uh, the train has a lot to do. That kind of sucked there. Uh, it probably wouldn't be so bad if the train actually had a larger capacity. Well, actually, both the train and the train yard. Uh, the measly 500,000 or 500,000 liters for the train yard and the 300,000 for the train itself just yeah that kind of sucks that one it's also a ludicrously small amount uh, if you think about it one like 300,000 in that train that's actually probably not too far from the three cars it has because yeah each uh, train car and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on this here I think each train car total was like two to Somewhere between two and four truckloads, if I remember correctly. I think it depends a little bit on the train car there, but, but uh, so yeah, 100,000 liters probably isn't too far off, but anyway. So anyway, uh, this episode, we're still working on harvesting uh, cotton here yet, and uh, well, I'll show you folks the uh, contracts here in a minute if you're right into uh, see them, but we have one more cotton contract I picked up in between episodes as well. Uh, this is the second cotton contract here. We're probably, what, I don't know, halfway done with this one here, so uh, two hours and 29 minutes left complete this one per uh, course play and it's been going for uh, I'm gonna guess probably two hours here already something like that of one speaking of the first one which is the one we're working on there last episode up on field 57 here I think we're done right oh we're not done oh I thought we we're done why well, yes yes that uh means I wasn't paying very good attention up here. One, uh, I shot the game down last night and I thought we were done. Like I looked at it and like, yep, yeah, we're done. Okay, good. And then went, well, actually, we probably are done. We probably have enough harvest here at this point, Evan. But that being said, this extra is always the profits, right? So we are going to harvest the entire thing. Doesn't really uh, change a whole lot here because we're going to do nearest waypoint. Hopefully that should be good. I've had to uh, fix that a couple of times here, actually. Having the uh, bales along the headlands, I think I had to fix it twice on this. Actually, no. I don't think I had to fix this field at all. It was the other field I've had to fix a couple times. This field's actually been pretty good so far. Or maybe I did have to fix it once. I forget. Uh, speaking of a harvest time, by the way, we we're kind of talking about that here at last episode, everyone. This field's been going for, doing the math here. Let's see once here. Five? Five? No, six. Six hours. I mean, six hours. We've been harvesting this field for six hours. And as you can see, I thought we were done, but we're not. We got another... Yeah, 10 minutes left. That's not too bad. And that, in this case, it's probably fairly accurate, I would think. Well, no, that might not take into consideration, Evan, because this thing needs to unload the bale. And while well, it's unloading the bale, I believe it stops. So that's actually probably not 100% right, but it's pretty, probably pretty close. You know, compared to normal harvesting, I mean, where you got to stop and unload all the time, at least if you're using auto drive and course play, you typically do. That time's probably, I always figure double that one. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's usually my figure. So, you know, of course, place says it's going to take uh, two hours to harvest the field. Well, double that. And that's probably at, at the very least, right? Just uh, figuring the unload in that. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we uh, get this started here, let's head back down to the shop because we should have some equipment down there. Plus, we need to get some of our own equipment moving here. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yep. Apparently, this must be uh, the game's cotton harvesting setup. Although, it has given us the case one before, but... Uh, Apparently, uh, the month of November must be John Deere's or something, you know. Hey, I'm okay with this section. Well, if you don't need to pull that out yet, get you started. Try not to take out the track while we're out of here. Now to figure out what uh, field we're going to here with this one, because again, we got a couple of contracts here at this point that I've uh, taken. 
I think the next question I'm going to is, uh, speaking of contracts, what kind of equipment should we invest in here next? That is a good question. I mean, uh, probably another truck and trailer would be good. That would definitely be nice. Oh, and then uh, we do need a header for our combine. So those are probably the two that I can think of. But yeah, if you folks have any other suggestions for equipment you think we should get here, let me know of one. So yeah, we got one for cultivating. We got uh, harvesting. That's the one we're working on at the moment. Field 23. This is the other. Okay, so 23 is the one this needs to go to, to field. Uh, that goes to the farmer's market. Oh, that, that's different, isn't it? Oh, and that one's... Okay, good thing I checked this, gentlemen, because that's the American barn sell point. And then, yeah, okay, this is the one I went to last time. I'm, I'm familiar with this one here. This is the Oakfield gas station. Okay, so good thing I looked at them. I never even thought to, to check that there. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is the field we have done. Okay, so field 23, that's the one we need to go to this one. Let's see if we got that on the list here or not. Have we been to field 23 before? Ooh, we have not. Wow. Okay, well, where's 23 here? Hopefully somewhere right around here, 25, 26, 23. Hey, right down the road. Uh, yeah, if we go to 24, that's probably going to get us fairly close. I'm tempted just to drive down there myself, but... Ooh. Oh, yes, and the good old uh, trailer that's uh, stuck in the ground all the time, right? Actually, I think it's the uh, jack that's stuck in the ground. Kind of surprising, given the fact this is a uh, giant. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised by this, right? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be. Uh, although, with that being said, you would think by now giants... Whoa, my goodness. You would think giants would have fixed this by now. And you know or what? Year and a half here? I think, uh, am I doing the math right? I'm a year and a half here in the Farming Simulator 22? Been out for a year and a half now, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's begin to watch, by the way. Uh, Farming Simulator uh, 23 is right around the corner here, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Boy, apparently a lot of mistaken going on here this episode. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Farming Simulator 23 right around the corner. With that being said, I mean, that is, of course, the mobile version. So, that is not like the uh, new version here to what we're currently playing. That will be the mobile version. So, iPhones, Androids, uh, tablets... Uh, I think it goes for some other platforms as well, but... Okay, then we need some uh, cultivating and plowing equipment here as well. So that is... That's the cultivator. Cultivator needs to go to... Field 47. I thought I had another one too, but I guess not. Field 47, okay. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. I just didn't take it here in between episodes and I thought it did. But no, it happened a few times. I went, it's like I thought I took a uh, contract. I go check and like, wait, what? Nope. Okay, guess not. This is called right. Pretty sure it is. Oh, yeah, the plow was on the other tractor. So, speaking of the other tractor, I'm not entirely sure where it is. I will have to go uh, have look. Okay, so we're going to field 47. I think we've been to that one before. Yep. Bingo. Oh, I got a seven. That is kind of nice there. Yeah, you just go select your field from list, just boom, off you go. Do your thing. And, and you know, typically I'm not uh, super fancy with them, but I should really probably, like, set up a course play course for it, too. And then, actually, have him just once he's there, he can start doing his course play thing, right? I should really do that more often. Okay, and then I need my plowing tractor, which is... Where's the plowing tractor at, I wonder? Well, let's just tab around and find him. There he is. Uh, we are over by field oh, 49 to 47, looks like. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess no, 47 is actually down. It always confuses You look at the map, I when it shows 49, and then what's the next field you see? It says 47 there, but no. Uh, 50 is actually, it's, it's, yeah, it's just because I guess the contract is showing it way over like that. Okay, where are we going to the plowing one here? Plowing one is going to field 25. Field 25, huh? Oh. Isn't that the one we just harvested? I think it is. One down by the shop. Which means I probably should get all the equipment off that field. Then I suppose. Yep, probably should. And yes, he likes to just uh, sit there and think for a few minutes before he actually uh, starts moving. Oh well. Okay, all you, you need to go back to the shop.
Once we get another truck, too, I'll probably just get rid of that one. Uh, it works okay. I mean, it actually works pretty good. Uh, just the uh, looks of it there, once it starts uh, losing its paint, and uh, when I say losing paint, I mean, it literally loses every last little bit of paint on it. You would think by now mod authors would have this. It's not that complicated, everyone. Uh, but yeah, I think by now mod authors would have that fixed here. That was a common problem back in Farming Simulator. Oh. Set this. There we go. Just want them in drive mode. I mean, it's somewhat understandable back in Farming Simulator 19, right? Uh, Giants, whole new texture system that was completely different than anything in the past. So a little bit understandable. Mod authors might have to uh, relearn a little bit of that, but I think by 22 they'd have that one figured out, but I guess not. that off there yeah it's a little bit too wide to just uh, take down the road here unfortunately so oh well do it a shot we're gonna have a lot of equipment headed to the shop here I think it's probably safe to say up until we're probably done with the harvester at this point you just gonna sit there too hmm. in that case I guess I will uh Bring the truck out in front then. A little weird. I can't say I've ever noticed that before. Where the uh, combine just sits there and thinks about what he's doing. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Yeah, weird. I haven't noticed that before. Like I said, there's a few pieces of equipment that uh, do that. Some that uh, do it longer than others, too, I've noticed. I, I don't know what causes that. It's just, uh, like I said, something I've noticed before. Once we get the equipment moved, everyone, then uh, you folks can probably guess what we need to do here next. Well, actually, we've probably got some equipment we need to get started on some fields. Then we got uh, some cotton bales that need to be hauled. Lots and lots of cotton bales to haul. Who has a dirty truck? Oh, so probably should wash that sometime. Yeah, one of these days, we'll get to it. Tomorrow seems like a good idea. But then again, you know, you folks know that tomorrow is always tomorrow, so does tomorrow really ever come? Because after all, tomorrow's still tomorrow. Oh, I wasn't there quite quick enough. I hoped uh, I was hoping to get there quick enough before he shut off. Oh well. I gotta say that header uh, fills out the uh, cart quite nice. Speaking of the header, by the way, everyone, uh, I like the header, everyone, but I don't want to have to sit here and keep fixing fields all the time, so, hmm, I, I think we either have two options. Well, actually, maybe we have more options. Uh, you folks let me know. Do you folks have any good ideas to fix that problem outside of modding it? And, of course, uh, for those who are not familiar with the problem here, if you've seen the last uh, couple episodes here, the uh, problem with that header one, and I'm assuming it's the mulching. I'm actually not 100% sure what's wrong with it. I'm just going to guess the mulching, everyone. That header mulches, uh, which removes the harvested state of the field. It, it changes it from harvested to mulched, at least, and I'm making some assumptions and guesses here, everyone. So uh, if you folks have better information than, they, than me, let me know, but... I'm guessing it's turning that to mulch instead of harvested. So the contract's looking at it like, oh, wait a minute. You don't have the entire field harvested, even though it is, of course. It's been harvested, and then we've already mulched it. And, yeah, like I said, the contract's going, whoa, that's that's not quite right. There we go. Make sure we shut the combine off before I leave. Okay, we should be good here, right? I think everyone's okay. Let's head over to field... 14 here, man. Actually, 23 is the one we need to go to. Grab the harvester here. And I'll probably take care of that off camera. I won't bother boring you folks with the details of recording another auto drive course. We've done quite a bit of that here, so we're just going to get the harvester going here and uh, start course play on this. 195. Oh, yeah. That's the uh, tractor with the cotton pickup on it. Okay, course play. Let's see how long it takes to finish this field here. We're going to want probably, let's do four headlands. 
give ourselves a little extra room to turn around, especially with the trees that might be right there. Look like they could uh, potentially be a little problematic. Okay, so, yeah, oh, and uh, finishing up the uh, discussion on... Say that's not the right... Oh, okay, it must be showing that one. I don't know why it's showing that one and not the one we just came from. Whatever. Uh, any of our other tractors reach their destination here? I don't see a tractor at 47. Oh, looks like we got a little problem here. No, not, he's supposed to be there. Okay, never mind. Uh, field 25, are we there? Oh, you know what? That would probably help. 47, it looks like we are here. 47 is there. And, oh, I kind of wouldn't mind doing some cultivating myself here. But I think for now, we'll just uh, throw a course play on this because we got lots and lots of bales to pick up. So, get a course started here, generate that. Uh, going back to the header here again, gentlemen, uh, my only options, I think, are either I need to take the time to mod it and remove the mulching from it. Sounds like a little too much work to be on seven. Plus, uh, out to be honest, to be honest, the mulching is kind of pointless. There we go. Or we just need to sell the header and get another header. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another 24 row header, everyone. So, yeah. Oh, well. Hmm. Is that the tractor 425? Ah, uh, yeah. He's almost there, Evan. He's almost there. Speaking of almost there, we actually are there over here on field 57. Looks like 57 is actually finished here. Make sure we unload that last bale in here. I'm assuming there's one, right? Um, there is. Yes, there is. Is there a way to, like, finish this bale? Reset bale counter. Can you not get the last bale out? Bowling is... Yeah, okay. Well, that makes sense. But how do you... I am not seeing an option here. Do I need to turn it off, maybe? Turn it on. Nope, turn on and off. That does not seem to change anything. Reset bale counter. Yeah, we don't really want to do that. Lift harvester. Bold harvester. Yeah, that's not going to let me uh, turn. Ah. Well, Evan, I don't know. I um, you not unload the last bale in here? That would really, really suck, Evan, because like if you want to transport this thing, now you got a partial bale in there. Am I missing something here? I am not seeing a single option here for unloading a partial bale. That's also a problem with our contract, Evan. Uh, and actually, it probably isn't, because I'm imagining there's probably enough cotton on this field to finish the contract, but. With that being said, this is like our bonus here, so, or our profits, probably a better way of putting it. This is our profits right here, and we can't get them out. Hmm. Well, how do you like that? That seems like something giants would do. Oh, anyway, I guess we'll uh, we'll start loading up bales here. I've actually not used this particular one before, so I'm kind of curious to see how this one's going to work here. I'm assuming there's the... Oh, operating position B, okay. Thought there might be, a, like, a fold or unfold, but... Okay, okay, I think I'm understanding how this is going to work. We're just going to go up to the bale here. That uh, arm there is going to close around it. And then it's going to pick it up, swing it over, and onto the trailer. And I'm guessing we're going to hold, what, probably four? Oh, maybe three. Maybe three bales. Eh, it might be four. We'll see once here. We need the uh, the bale pusher in the front here of the tractor so it can uh, turn the bale around. For those of you who have seen that, that actually is a thing on, like, regular hay and straw bales. I don't know if they have that for cotton bales or not, but at least for regular bales, that is a thing. You get the little... Uh, like a bull bar essentially on the front of the tractor and that will uh, pivot the bale around. It allows you to basically push the bale with the tractor and get it to whatever position you need it in. I'm assuming we can't hold another one, right? It's Yeah, it is full. Three bales. Wow, okay. Three bales, huh? Well, I think what we do, Evan, let's uh, set this up here for... Hmm. 
I'm not actually sure what would be a good uh, mode for this. That's around Bell Cotton. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we are going to take this to the Oakfield gas station. I don't know if that's actually going to be a sell point, though. Is it? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Oh, wait, no. Field 57. This needs to be 57 here. Sell point needs to be this one. I, I don't think it's actually going to sell. I, let's uh, stop you a minute. I'm, get, uh, get out of this here a minute. Let's actually bring you down the road just a little ways here. Okay, so yeah, I don't think he's going to sell. I mean, if he does, I mean, great. But at least he'll drive down there. Once he's there, then we'll uh, get him going. I don't know. You know what? Speaking of this field, I, mean, I actually need to figure out where the uh, sell point for this one is here. So we need to go to a uh, different one here. This is field 13. And field 13 is going to the American Barn. Can I tag that? I cannot. The American Barn sell point storage, huh? Where's the cotton? There it is. The, oh, American. Oh, the other one's so hard. literally going to all three cell points. That's, that's interesting. I mean, when it comes to the other crops, like we've only ever gone to one cell point with the exception of the potatoes. But for the cotton here, we're like literally going to hit every single one. Ah, uh, appears to be down the road there somewhere. Okay. Uh Oh, farmer's market. Nope. We got to go to that one. The American barn cell point for this one here. Wow, how come we can't just go to the close one? That We got that one right there. Uh, technically, we could have them, but then we'd have to bring the rest of it down to this one. So at some point, we got to go down to that one. I guess that means I'm going to have to create some more auto drive routes. Because, huh? yeah, we'll have to uh, create or probably want to create an auto drive route to that one. Anyway, let's uh, pull up some comments here a moment. See what you folks had to say here a minute. Oh, and uh, speaking of what you folks, uh, yeah, probably noticed here last week was Thursday, right? I believe it was last week Thursday's episode uh, never showed up. Well, it should have now here at this point, but last week Thursday's episode was late. I mean, that's uh, due to apparently must have been something wrong on YouTube's end of one. Uh, the processing failed for that video. I, I don't know why. I just re-uploaded the video and it was fine. So I'm, I'm going to blame YouTube for that one or something while the video was being uploaded went wrong. I, I don't know, but uh, something went wrong with that video during the upload or during the processing. I'm, I'm blaming YouTube for that one, so. But yeah, it is up here at this point, so. Anyway, speaking of watch, let's head back to the comments here again in a minute. So that's what's up with that uh, video for those you're wondering. Uh, Chris Turbo saying, good video, keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that. Okay. Close that back in there. And then we'll just head down the road here with this load. I might actually just uh, record this one on camera here a minute because we're going to be down there. Might as well. Okay, this is going back to uh, the, uh, the previous episode. I won. Uh, Norton was saying he cheated. you cheated the amount of grain needed to fulfill the contract, but it still did not work. I'm not sure why that would be. Uh, again, I'm on that... You know, that was the same question I was asking that episode as well. It's like, wait a minute, I cheated the amount of grain. I, and the reason for that, everyone, is because I was assuming the contract was short grain. It was not because the contract was short grain. It's because the field was not finished. That was the problem. Which, uh, yeah, that's just, uh, yeah, because of that header, everyone. I was definitely not expecting that one. So that's why uh, cheating in the grain there did not actually fulfill the contract. Gaming Up was saying, bro, I just rejoined your channel. Watched it maybe five years ago. Wow. Been a couple years there, Gaming Up. Been a couple years. Welcome back. Hoover was saying, the purpose of the stalk stompers, uh, leaving the mulch textures to have a realistic visual effect on the field. Uh, I suppose you could argue that. Yes, Evan, that does have a realistic visual effect on the field. Definitely doesn't work for uh, doing contracts, though, does it? And with that being said, as far as the usefulness of it, it's uh, extremely useless because, like, if you're going to mulch the field, that one, you're going to mulch the entire field. You're not going to try to go in between all the little mists. That would just take too long. You're just going to do the entire field over again, right? So that's weird.
Okay, ooh, this is gonna be a fun one to make a turn into because we got that power pole right there. Oh boy. Um, you know what? Maybe we should do rather than trying to turn into it. Maybe we should go in from the backside. That seems like it might be a better idea. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't like our prospects either way here, one. Like we're gonna try this way here, though. My thoughts, anyway. Okay, we're gonna start recording here. And go to that one. I'll make a nice uh, curve line. Hopefully that'll help a little, little bit at least. And again, I don't know if auto drive will actually know enough to actually like unload these bales. I would almost think not, but if it does, great. At least the trees are. I mean, if you get caught in the trees, I can take the trees down. Technically, I do have the map object hider mod. This is not going to fit in here. Well, then. Hmm. How do you like that, everyone? Are we still recording yet? No, we're not. Let's uh, hit the record here again. Okay, and if we're actually going to sell here, we probably want to be, I don't know, probably about... Let's get one more waypoint here. One more waypoint? Come on. There we go. And this is called what? Actually, let me double check the name here. The American... American Barn Sell Point, huh? Okay. Caps lock. And while we're here, I suppose we might as well actually, like, sell here, right? Um, are we not over the sell point? I want, like, the unloading. How do you unload this thing? Stop recording here a minute. Uh, one would presume there's, like, a way to unload this. Uh, it's not like I can unfold this thing in here, but so... Not seen a way to unload. I, I would have thought it when the like the thing would just roll them off the back, but maybe not. Go operating position here. We need to be in the operating position for it to unload. Ah, okay. I do not know why it's not showing me the key bindings for this here one, but uh, it's not. It's going to be a fun one to uh, sell to here, apparently. There we go. Thinking some manual work is going to be involved with this one here, unfortunately. Oh, well, that's what it is. Thankfully, there's not, like, a whole lot of cotton bales, right, everyone? At least I don't think there is. Maybe I shouldn't say that, because there actually probably is a fair amount out on all the fields here. Okay, let's get this uh, connected up here. We're going to go from this one to that one. Oh, come on now. Put a nice curve line in that one, so hopefully, again, that'll work out okay when uh, Auto Drive goes to do the turns. To be honest, I, mean, I don't know if it actually makes that much difference here. I think Auto Drive kind of still does what it wants to when it comes to. Not, not that one. I need this one. When it comes to this. There we go. Field 13. Oh, no, and actually, we want. Is that the top? Yes, it is. America Bar and Cell Point. Okay, and then I presume we're probably at the gas station. I mean, again, I don't think it's going to sell on its own. I doubt. Is this because he's just not close enough, or... Oh, I guess not. Wow. I literally have that cell point right there, don't I? Huh. What did I did that for? Oh, because I made it a two-way one, and I was... Yeah, that probably was not a good way to do it. I think I probably said that at the time I did this, didn't I, or something? Well, these uh, cell points are not very nice for selling stuff at it. At least for cotton bales, anyway, are they? 
Too much uh, stuff in the way. Okay, if I turn you back on. Yep, it says he's going back to field 57, at least if I'm reading that correctly. Cool. So that works out pretty good, Evan. Then I don't have to sit here doing the drive, and I can just, uh, once you get back to your field, not quite there yet, then I could just uh, start loading up more bales. It looks like we got, oh, probably, I don't know, a dozen or so bales on that field, and eh, there's probably like two dozen on that one, Evan. That might take a little bit of time to pick those bales up. Speaking of time, though, everyone, we are out of time here this episode. So with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching, and until next time.